managing disruptive behavior can be a tricky area in classroom management. And this is equally re relevant to all kinds of teaching and classrooms. Uh, but this can be more challenging sometimes in ELT classrooms because students in second or foreign language classrooms are already facing uh, so many socio-cultural and instructional challenges. Therefore, uh, language teachers uh, in ELT classrooms should be uh, more careful about the disruptive behavior of their students. Uh, it is usually expected that students and teachers uh, do behave properly in a classroom and teachers are aware of the expectations uh, which they have from their students in, in terms of classroom behavior, how their students should behave in a certain situation or in a classroom uh, interaction. Uh, one thing which teachers should keep in mind is that they should make their students very clear about their expectations from their students regarding their classroom behavior and uh, interactional etiquette. Uh, and such uh, an awareness, given, if given to students, create, uh, usually creates a positive impact on the students. Uh, in this regard, so many things can be done. A uh, few important things include reinforcing positive behaviors. Whatever positive uh, behavior is shown by the students, teacher should reinforce it uh, by encouraging them, by asking them to repeat it. Uh, they, should do it not, uh, they should do it not only within the classroom, but also outside the classroom. Uh, Teachers should also make students uh, clear about what is an appropriate behavior and what is the opposite to it, so that students know it in advance before they actually uh, jump into some classroom interaction. Uh, and, uh, but this is very difficult to determine what is an appropriate behavior because a lot would depend uh, on teachers' own behavior as well teacher's own level of tolerance, what he can tolerate within the classroom and what he cannot. Sometimes some uh, tolerant teachers might uh, tolerate so many things which, which other teachers want. And that's why we, we sometimes have uh, categories of teachers among students and they do rate their teachers as more polite or less polite or more tolerant or less tolerant. So teachers own uh, understanding and tolerance level would uh, define uh, the appropriate behavior within the classroom. Similarly, teaching uh, situation is, is also very important. For example, if student uh, talks with each other during a group activity, that's, that may be fine with the teacher. Uh, but that may not be fine or appropriate when teacher is uh, giving lecture to the classroom. Uh, then schools overall cultural norms uh, also matter here because some teachers are very strict about these matters and institutions do have a policy regarding these matters. Uh, however, uh, some uh, institutions uh, do not have that strict policy re regarding such uh, behavioral issues. So a lot would depend on the policy of uh, the institution or school as well. Consequences and punishment are uh, two important terms which are related to the management of student behavior uh, within the classroom, especially the disruptive behavior. Uh, punishment is the penalty uh, which may be given uh, to students uh, uh, as, a, as a consequence of their uh, wrongdoing, their misbehavior, uh, whereas consequence is an, is an act or instance which follows uh, a, some act as an as its effect, uh, result or outcome. Uh, punishment or consequence can have a great impact if they are consistent and uh, respectful, and they are also immediate. Something which students would consider reasonable if this if they think that, that the consequence of their wrong behavior is something which is uh, consistent and uh, and. And the punishment or the consequence which is shown by teachers is respectful for them. They would definitely uh, try to correct their behavior in most of the occasions. Here I'll show you some of uh, the possible behaviors, student actions and their uh, consequences uh, which can be given by the teachers. 
For example, let's have a look at natural logical consequences which bear a direct relationship to the inappropriate behavior. Uh, this should be the first choice. Uh, these natural or logical consequences should be considered first. For example, a student action of throwing trash on the floor uh, may be followed by a, a consequence. The teacher picks up trash or clean the classroom and by having a look at the teacher, uh, students will follow it and they will feel a kind of uh, shame. Then if uh, students are late to class, they may be asked to stay after school to make up their work, which they missed because of their late coming. Then name calling, uh, stu uh, students may be advised to apologize to the person to whom they, uh, they have called a name. Uh, some unnatural consequences which do not logically relate to the behavior, nor do they promote the desired behavior. And they may cause emotional or physical pain to the students. For example, throwing something at another student and teacher might ask leave the classroom talking at the same time the teacher or student is student is talking that means interrupting uh, classroom interaction slapping student that that could be inappropriate in many situations uh, not doing homework and asking students as a consequence right hun hundred times i will always do my homework so there could be some natural and some unnatural consequences. A teacher may have to decide about it. Usually, natural consequences are preferred over unnatural ones. Uh, teachers may also offer uh, behavior tickets to the students. Uh, they can ask them uh, to collect those tickets when, when they misbehave in the classroom and when tickets across a certain limit. For example, if a student gets three tickets, he may be asked to do a, a presentation on a certain topic regarding a weekly topic in the classroom. So there could be an academic punishment or academic consequence of the misbehavior of the students. Uh, there's, they could be, there could be so many discipline ideas which could be disseminated among, among students within the classroom uh, and com competent teachers always use these ideas. For example, if you observe a, a misbehave uh, from a student, you might take a pause, have a look at him or her, uh, just think for 5 to 10 seconds having look at the students and uh, I think students would be mindful of doing that again. So there could be so many strategies which could be applied uh, by the teachers to correct their students' uh, misbehaviors. Uh, and uh, we, we can conclude by saying that uh, managing student behavior within a classroom can be an important area of classroom management within ELT classrooms.